Welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you all have seen from the thumbnail, I'll be creating glamorous DIYs using these 8x10 beveled mirrors that I purchased from Dollar Tree. I'm also using the shower curtain rings and the first thing I'm going to do is clamp them all together. Now I'm using bling wrap to cover up the space where I connected them. I'm using these crystal clear drawer knobs that I purchased from Amazon a while ago to add some height to my mirror. I'm putting glue on the very bottom only. I'm gluing them on the corners first, then in the middle to make sure that they are spaced out as evenly as possible. Well, that was quick and easy. If you guessed, yes, it is a tray which can be used for jewelry, perfume, or whatever you may like. Comment below and let me know what you think. On to project number two. So now I'm just gonna adhere both of these together. I'm using these craft sticks to make my mirrors more sturdy. Now I'm using some of these rhinestone car stickers that I already had on hand. These are self-adhesive, so no glue is needed. For this next step, I'm gluing down my shower curtain rings around my flower and I'll be gluing down a total of three layers. I'm only adding glue to the very bottom of these as well. I'm putting some glue in the center of some of the shower curtain rings, but not all of them. As long as I get enough glue on the bottom, these will be okay and they will stay in place. I'm making sure I hold them down for a few seconds before proceeding. For this last step, I'm adding another drawer knob to the center of my flower and just look at how this turned out. This is so beautiful, but comment below and let me know your thoughts. For 
For this final project, I'm using 12 of those same mirrors. And the first thing I'm gonna do is adhere four of them together. Since they didn't have any E6000 glue, I have to use this JB Weld glue, which I never used this before, which you have to mix the both of these together. And once you mix them, it will turn gray and it also takes about 24 hours for it to fully cure. But let's see how this goes. If you plan on using some of this glue, just beware. It does have a bad odor to it and I'm only putting glue at the beginning, the middle, and the end because I will be combining hot glue with this as well. I'm not using too much glue because I don't want it to seep through and damage my mirrors. These clamps will help bind my mirrors together. I'm using these craft sticks to help hold everything together and I made a total of three sets of these mirrors. This is set one and set two and I'm gonna combine them together using my hinges that I purchased from Home Depot. I'm using my silver sharpie to make the markings and then I'm going to pre-drill some holes. These mirrors are plastic but they're pretty thick that's why I pre-drilled some holes. So now that these are all drilled in and done, now it's time to drill in the third set. So I'm just lifting one set up and then I'm placing the other set face to face with it. If you guessed a fireplace cover, then you got it right. This is beyond gorgeous, but let me know what you think down in the comments. Like, comment, and share. And if you're curious to see what else I can create, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss my next video.